So, what has the International Wolf Center been doing to aid wolf recovery and long-term survival? You'd be surprised. For more than a quarter of a century, the International Wolf Center has been advocating for wolves, but we do so in a very unique way. Our experts use a specialized mix of education, including engaging face-to-face -face programs and extensive outreach. It was super exciting at the end of our presentation today to hear the wolves at the Wolf Center actually howling. The looks on their faces were priceless. The International Wolf Center influences an audience of more than 1.5 million people annually who visit our website and become inspired by our Ambassador Wolves living at the center in Ely, Minnesota. Having the Ambassador Wolves here allows every visitor to have a unique experience. This allows folks to have an opportunity to see a real live wolf up close, possibly within two inches with just a pane of glass between them and have that personal connection. Thousands more learn about the latest wolf research and personal wolf encounters through the highly acclaimed International Wolf Magazine. But perhaps our most important education advocacy is to the next generation of wolf lovers by way of our interactive classroom experiences. None of this would be possible without our staff and board members who are among the leading wolf researchers in the world and who played a significant role in the successful reintroduction of wolves in Yellowstone National Park and Idaho. Our member-supported programming reaches a worldwide audience in more than 32 countries. People travel from all over the world to come here. I've met people uh, who have said it's been their life goal to come and visit the center. These are people who share our passion for wolf survival and appreciate the meaningful, long-term role we play, which is far beyond that of single-issue advocacy groups. And why did we become a member? Because we so appreciate basically what the International Wolf Center stands for, which is education about wolves. Um, I think that there are many organizations out there that will educate on one side of an issue, but we know that if we have a question about wolves, we can go to the International Wolf Center and get the facts and then make our own decision. I think wolves have to be respected for their place in the environment, and I like the way that the Wolf Center stays neutral and gives both sides of that story, because um, giving one side doesn't open any new ears. You see, for many, the International Wolf Center is the only place where people of opposing views on wolves can come together, a rare thing these days. We know that as people gain knowledge and appreciation for wolves, they often decide on their own how to live in harmony with this charismatic and misunderstood creature. I hope you will join us in this great journey of discovery about wolves, their relationship to wildlands, and your role in their future. Ow! Oh, that's pretty good! <laughs> yeah.